released a new update for Presenter 8, which is exclusively available for our subscription and ASA customers. And one of the stunning features in this update is the new audio workflow for Presenter. It allows you to seamlessly record and sync audio to your slides. It even allows you to import it and then sync the audio to your slides. Let's see the recording audio workflow in this short tutorial. So here I have a presentation uh, that I have created for my Adobe Presenter course. This slide has some three animations. So if you go to the animation pane, you will see there are three images and all those three images have different animations attached to it. And they are click based animations. After uh, adding all these animations, what I can do is I can go to Adobe Presenter and start recording and adding audio to it. So I hit the record button, which is in the audio section, and that gives me the dialogue. You can see that this is checking input level. And as soon as uh, it picks up the audio and feels that, okay, this is good enough for me to record, it goes to the green mode. And once you're done with that, just click OK, and that will give you your presentation in full screen mode so that you can go ahead with your recording. This is the audio control which you can place anywhere on the screen. So you can drag and place it wherever you want. Also, it has some simple buttons here which are very predictable. You can play audio if you've already inserted some audio in it. You can uh, record audio. Just click this button and it starts recording for you. Also, if you are used to reading your uh, transcripts when you are recording audio, don't need a piece of paper for it. You can save paper by just clicking on this button to show the script. It will show you your script and you can read the text from here. If you find it too tiny, just click on the uh, this button to increase the font. And here you can see that there is a scroll appearing. I don't want to scroll or click uh, somewhere to make that noise when I'm recording. I can easily increase the size of this window by, uh, you know, stretching the handles of the window. Cool. So you have your script in front of you. You can place it wherever you want. You have your controls. You can place it wherever you want so that you can see uh, what's happening on the screen easily so i've placed this here and now i will start the recording i have to read these three sentences and with each sentence i have an image that will appear so i will click the record button and as soon as i click the record button i will see a next uh, animation button here which i'll be clicking and once all the animations are over you will see a button for next slide uh, i will start recording so i will hit record and whenever i have the next animation button i will click it i want to click the first animation button as soon as i start recording so i will do that so you are a manager in a government organization responsible for sustainable energy strategy you're launching an exciting new initiative that aims to increase student awareness of renewable energy in key colleges through roadshow exhibition as always, you are very busy and have enlisted the help of Nicola, a bright and enthusiastic junior colleague, to write the proposal for the roadshow approach and then make it happen. So I'm stopping it here and the audio is recorded. If I would have wanted to continue recording for the next slide, I could have clicked the next slide button and that would have allowed me to continue the recording. And once you are happy with the audio quality, just go and click save and your changes will be saved for the uh, for this slide. Once you're done with it, just click the close button and that audio will be linked to this particular slide. I hope you found this workflow really simple to work with and you will enjoy creating your courses using Presenter. Thanks for watching this video.